question 28 is a little bit vaguer in that there's a lot that we could work out. Uh, it says that rope 1 pulls horizontally, exerting a force of 45 newtons on an 18 kilogram wagon. So let's at least draw that. So we have a 45 newton force acting horizontally on an 18 kilogram wagon. Uh, furthermore, it's attached, this wagon is attached to a second wagon by a horizontal rope. And this second wagon has a mass of 12 kilograms. Uh, as with a couple of these questions that we've seen before, it's asking us to make a list of physical quantities you can determine using this information and solve for three of them, including one kinematics quantity. Well, there's a lot we can do here. So we should at least figure some of it out. Uh, so we've got a T1, which is our tension 1, and we've got a T2, which is our tension 2, which is in the rope between the two wagons. And so now we just need to see what equations we can take from it. So we'll label our individual components of this, 1 and 2, wagons 1 and 2, and draw up what we know from this already. And I'm going to explore a few things you could work out here. So once again, there's no acceleration up or down. So we'll work with purely horizontal accelerations. And so we can see here that T2, tension in rope 2, the force that's pulling wagon 2 to the right, has got to be equal to the mass of wagon 2 multiplied by the acceleration of wagon 2. It's a good start. And the equation for uh, case one, we have 45 pulling us to the right, minus T2 pulling us to the left, is equal to, and this time it's 18 times the acceleration. So this brings us to the first quantity we can determine, because we could easily rearrange to substitute T2 as we have it here into equation one leaving us with 45 minus 12a is equal to 18a, which is easily remedied to 45 is equal to 30a. 45 divided by 30 is 1.5, so acceleration is equal to 1.5. That is, acceleration equal to 1.5 meters per second squared. What else can we work out? Well, immediately we should think of uh, T2, the tension in the rope between the two wagons. T2 here is equal to 12 times the acceleration. So 12A is 12 multiplied by 1.5. And 1.5 and times 12 is 18. So 18 newtons exists between the two wagons. Okay, and we need to also consider kinematics properties. Unfortunately, there is not actually enough information to construct a full kinematics equation. We'll just take a look at this here. We've got all the quantities we need. Uh, we could potentially say that the wagons are starting from rest, for example, but that isn't given in the question. Let's just assume it. And we know our acceleration is equal to 1.5, but we don't have a final velocity or a distance or a time. And so we've not got enough information. You need at least three of these quantities to discover the others. And so we need to come up with something arbitrary. So let's say, for example, five seconds is the time that we've been spending. And so from this, we can determine the final velocity, which is the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity, which I'm denoting as u. Add to that the acceleration times time. If acceleration is 1.5 and time is 5 seconds itself, then simply our answer is as u is equal to 0, our initial velocity is equal to 0, our final velocity has to be equal to 7.5 meters per second. And given this, we can also work out a distance if we're starting with this idea where we'd say that s is equal to ut plus half at squared. Well, thankfully u, our initial velocity is zero, and simply we then have to put in half at squared 
which t squared is 5, so t is 5, t squared is 25, and so this is going to be half times 1.5 times 25, and half times 1.5 is 0 0.75, or 3 quarters, so it's 3 quarters of 25. Can't quite do that immediately, so uh, certainly not in my head, so you will be able to though. If we input this in, we'll get a value of 18.75 meters for the distance traveled in five seconds. But we had have we have had to uh, invent this five in order to solve a few kinematics quantities here. And these are some of the things you can work out.